What is up, guys? Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum Randomizer by me, Blood My Fortune. Uh, yeah, today we are going to actually we're going to head back to July City. So, yeah. In the last episode we caught, uh, yeah, we caught Typhlosion. And, uh, well, well, I guess in the last episode we had a bonus episode. Yeah, where I showed you uh, how I got Typhlosion. And, uh, yeah, in this episode, we're just gonna, yeah, head back to Dream Life here. Now, um, in between episodes, I did actually, uh, once again, I looked for Flareon, you know, uh, a Flareon without multi-type, but, uh, yeah, I actually looked for quite a while, and I didn't find one, at, you know, at all, so, yeah, I don't know, we may just use the one we've already got, or not use it or come back later uh, but yeah at long last we'll say goodbye to Orberg City but not you know for forever because if we get any fossils or anything we will be coming back to check those out so also I think the story brings you back to Orberg at one point not nah, could be wrong on that but uh anyway uh it is this guy hmm you never stand a chance against me Bill. tell me Obtained a pal pad. <laughs> it's not a pal pad free to anyone visiting Pokemon Center's basement. It's quite suspicious you don't have one. I, like Yagami, I noticed this. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady. There's no one suspicious here in this true life city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. Well, but my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown ups. You never know. What unscrupulous character might be right in front of you? Man. Farewell. <laughs> what a strange guy. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he tells you about the pal pad thing because I don't think it's available until just right now. Um. Anyway, as far as Jubilee CD, I think there is something to do up if we go up here. Yes, there is. Okay, mystery man. <laughs> now, 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 Professor Redwood, you must comply. And I wear all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Huh. Ah, look at me. Well, how's the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. Ah, but ha hadn't I given you, you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Huh. Oh, Professor of Pokemon. Must she be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business, because this is work for us. Now hand over your research. What we are saying is, we demand that you comply with our demands. Ah, uh, what a... Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Oh, let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Oh, number one, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others when they are attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Number four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Number five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? Oh, Professor Rowan, roasted, based, based. Ah, my goodness, you called yourselves adults? You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Oh man, <laughs> Professor Matt Rowan's making quite a dig here. Eh, you had to make this personal. And you have forced our hand into making a show of force. <laughs> All right, whatever, buddy. We'll make you regret insulting Team Galactic. Ha, you kids, please give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. <laughs> Megami, join me and battle these guys in Pokemon. Okay, Lucas, let's do it. And here we go, guys. Uh, is this the first Team uh, Galactic? No? Entrepreneur Kate and Mike. So, Team Galactic are entrepreneurs. Well, in a roundabout sort of way, I guess they are. Anyway. Uh, Roserade has Drought? That's actually a pretty good ability. Doesn't it learn uh, Solar Beam by itself? That's... Interesting. Okay. All right. And, uh, well, at least Lucas got a pretty good Pokemon here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, level 14. All right. And I 
did put the uh, luck incense on Don Crow before starting this recording session, so pretty good start so far. Pretty cool. I guess if we go back for a Roserade, we'll try to find one with a uh, Drought, because that is pretty cool. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. A Warren Attack. And down goes the Mawile. Plenty of Mawiles over there where Flareon is, and we defeat Team Galactic. <laughs> How's this madness possible? Two of us are leaving children. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. Dialogue went back kind of quick. <laughs> you leave us no option. We'll retreat for now. We will do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Oh, oh, your fancy words, huh? Hmm. Oh, that thought. They call themselves Team Galactic. Hmm. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. Huh. That's interesting. However, I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, yes, yes. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> me, did you know this about Pokemon? The po professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Maybe that's the reason those goons tried to take the Pokemon and the professor's research data about Pokemon. They're not allowed to do that. Right, it's all over now. You can relax. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Megami, kudos to you for your battling skill. Kudos to you, Professor Rowan, for the roast session. <laughs> got me thinking, why don't you collect all the badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure, be sure to encounter a lot of Pokemon. That of course means your Pokedex packages will continuously fill up. In other words, it'll be a great help, but uh, I'm not saying you have to do it. It would just be a great help, if you would. That said, uh, yes, I'm giving your first Pokemon and their Pokedex uh, as you was to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now, bye bye then. See ya! Maybe later we can talk about Pokemon! Man, that guy sure likes talking about Pokemon. Oh, good. That was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing metal. Let me get the fashion case, which is used for a contest. Concluded. Contained within an eye fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful metrics. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal and grow. And right now, the TV station is offering its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too. Please do visit our TV station. Farewell, good day. Yes, yes, and now Jubilife uh, TV station has been opened up, and you know what? We will visit it. In fact, we'll probably visit it once a day, or once a recording session. Because if you go here, ah, this is Phyllis, Phyllis City. Felicity, your attendant. So basically, this is the lottery corner, and uh, you can get the luck lucky number. And if you're lucky, you can get like a master ball if you get an exact match. But uh, oh, uh, oh, the last digit match. So we get an ultra ball. That's good. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you can yeah get some quite a few different items. But uh, pretty lucky to get an ultra ball, honestly. I'm gonna get commercials shown on TV. They'll attract more customers at the department store. So, the TV station interviews all sorts of trainers for its shows. Uh, yeah. Personally, I'd like to learn more about gym leaders. Same here, bro. I'd also like to hear about the tough Elite Four of the Pokemon League. Hmm. Hint, hint, hint. They keep official track of rich records here. Things like winning streaks or how many Pokemon you've caught. Third floor? Okay, we'll check it out. What's up? Hey, why don't you try dressing up at your favorite Pokemon? Feeding room on the second floor. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now, uh, Helena. Oh, a blizzard, huh? <laughs> All right. Anyway, up we go. So you can, yeah. This is the fitting room. So you can go in here, I think, and try on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try on like different uh, stuff with your fashion case. But uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, mix in record. Yeah. What's up? Someone gave me a new backdrop when I went to the global terminal. Oh, that's nice. Now, what's this? It's a frame for holding Pokemon portrait. Oh, your Pokemon is so very charming. How enchanting. They're so charming. I will even hang a picture of one right beside me. 
Uh, especially for you exciting, don't you think? Just be able to come out in my boat to all and make it a sight to behold. I'll snap a photo when you're done. You will do this, won't you? Ah, sure, he's gonna put up a photo, so... Nah. So we'll dress up, uh, Don Crocher. <laughs> I hope you'll dress it up adorably. Uh, yeah, so... Basically, you can kind of go... And put, like, some stuff from the left, left side of the screen. Yeah. Yeah, you can put up to 10 uh, accessories, so, you know what, just to make it simple, we'll put, like, uh, this fluff right here, and we'll put, uh, what else we got? We'll put a feather, we'll give it a couple feathers up the top here. Yeah! Yeah, my dog girl can fly, because this guy's feet loose. And we'll give him a nice little cool mustache. Yeah! Alright, no, 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 don't cover up the tusks. There we go. And then, uh, what about the background? Okay, and for the background, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There you go. Uh, yes, my Pokemon's all dressed up. Save this design? Yeah, sure. There you go. And so now we are done. Oh, nice one. Let's just make the photo right away. Oh, but it needs to have a title. Uh, let's call it um, ABC Mode. Uh, let's call it... Um, let's call it... Anything about flying here? Um, flower gift. Flying. Um, let's see. Hmm, maybe I'll call it Flower Gift, actually. That does sound like a good name. So there you go. Flower Gift. Oh, yes, yes. I get it now. Yours is the next shine. I just put your photo right there. It looks so perfect there. Okay. So, yeah, you can look at it right here. So... There you go. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that was a slight detour, but uh, I guess that was slightly fun. Oh, what's up? You weren't here before. Hello, I bet you love TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure. Uh, may I have your comment on the finished photograph? Sure. I will say that the finished photograph is... Let's go with lifestyle. Is... The finished photo is... A dream. Yeah. Dreamy. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, okay. What's up? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, I named it Dreamy. He's like, uh, the back is our dreamy fitting room. <laughs> that's funny. All right, anyway, let's see if there's, like, any items or anything in here. I don't know what's you. What accessories will go well with my Pokemon today? I don't know. Anyway, what are these supposed to be, like, cameras, I guess? Uh, what's up? The star of tomorrow is you. Your Pokemon has glow about it. So, a gift for our future star. Oh, okay. So we just get some fluff. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, see you, buddy. I thought he was going to give us, like, an item or something, like a Pokeball. The group to the closest is the group ranking room. Yeah, so there's a bunch of, like, stuff you can do with, you know, if you, uh, uh hook up Wi-Fi. And you can get some, like, global stats and stuff, so... Like contest wins, and yeah, basically, you can kind of compete with your friends and stuff. So, there you go. And this will display, yeah, your Pokemon caught, so stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty interesting stuff to look at, I guess. Uh, what's on this side? Uh, this will have, um, oh, same thing, same thing. Okay, whoa, I really don't wait, made a balance, but it didn't get me down. I'm trying to set the world record of Pokemon fishing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I bet it'd feel great if I could be number one. What if be a like number one? Shining bright for everyone. Copy right strike gets you got. You can't sing the bleach theme song anymore. Uh, I don't know what this guy said, but we're just gonna put in some words. That's interesting. Uh, what feedback can you give me about TV? Um, I will tell you that TV um, is cleverness and danger. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I just realized something awesome. I should be trading Pokemon more. 
The more trades I win, the better my odds of winning the Pokemon Lottery. That is true. Yeah, because you get different ID numbers, so there you go. That's one way to win the lottery more often in this game. If only that worked in real life, huh? <laughs> Records are fine things. They tell you the history of stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyway, top floor. Here we go. Alright. So, participation for all is our TV network's motto. Nice. Alright, yeah, so we're just gonna explore this since we couldn't before. We're promoting a theme. Smiles are dreamy. Ah, we had Righty. Yeah. Alright, let's talk to... Let's see if I can use this. Oh, no. Okay, let's talk to this guy. This guy looks important. Your exploits are fantastic. With our TV station, we can tell the whole world about you. It's merely one of many possibilities. How hmm. Okay. Alright. I thought maybe he would give us something like the... Or be like the director from Heart Girl, Gold, and Soul Silver, but I guess not. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Down to the first floor. All right, well, this excursion was worth it because we got a free Ultra Ball, so... All right, here we are. All right, and that's it for the Jubilife TV tour, so... All right, with that, we can head on out. So anyway, after you defeat uh, Team Galactic up here, you are free to come up here. And uh, what the main thing is we're going to do... Uh, remember how earlier in the Let's Play, this path was blocked by... Oh, no, I counter Sweet. But anyway, it was blocked by a bunch of rocks. Yeah, basically this Ravage Path blocks the way to the next town, so... Uh, I don't even know if I have my Rock Smasher with me, but I do have Flob of Flob, so... Wow, Taurus! Nice. But yeah, we're basically just gonna head to the next town, so that's the plan for this next couple episodes. Oh, we knocked it out. Oh, well, okay. But if we do get Tauros or anything else in here to low HP, I will try to catch it, so... Oh yeah, we do have Flob of Flob, nice. Okay. Okay, let's head over here. Ooh, a Pokeball. Whoa. I'm only smashing this so I don't have to walk around. Uh, lots of rocks to smash here. Uh, Power Whip. Wow, that's actually a really good TM. It's a physical move. Um, wow, yeah. It's pretty good. I think we have, like, a, a Grass Pokemon, too, that has physical good attributes. So, I might consider using that, actually. Anyway, this leads to Route 204, after you break the rocks. Are you ready to think different kinds of Pokemon? If you want, only have the same type as Pokemon. Yeah, but for our time, we have Psychic Switch, too. That is true. Alright, see you, buddy. Ooh, another item. Uh, let's see if we can dodge her first. Ooh, uh, 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 oh, almost did, almost did. Oh, well. Alright, first trainer battle in a while. Besides Team Galactic and stuff. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? I am the person who's looking for all kinds of random Pokemon. Cool Trainer Jimmy. Right, Ward. Alright. And we'll use Knock Off. Knock it off, Fox. Okay, not bad, not bad. Alright. Speed boost, yeah. We'll use horn attack. Okay, good. This thing isn't rock type or steel type, so should be pretty easy. This music makes me so happy. Forty-five. Ooh, roll that. Ooh, new move. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll delete rep and spin for a rollout. I think I'll keep knockoff to scout uh, scout out random items. So, yep, get rid of rep and spin. Go for a rollout. Now we have the defense curl rollout combo, baby. All right, cast form. Okay. Speaking of the combo, let's use it right now. All right. So, actually, I can probably one shot this thing. Yeah. Okay. And it's down. Oh, we got a crit. Okay. It's a strong trainer who was drawn here by the flowers. Yes. By the way, have you collected new apps from the Pokedge company? Mm hmm. I did forget to check to see if there was a new app since we got a new badge, but it's okay. We'll come back to the Pokedge company and get all the apps eventually anyway. Uh, I wonder what Pokemon are here, but I think I better try to clear out the trainers first just to make it easier for myself. Let's battle! Hey, hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. Let's do it, buddy. All right. Lay 
Crazy Jasmine. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty nice bug Pokemon, bro. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go with uh, Defense Girl. Ice Shard, not bad, not bad. Yeah, and if you don't know, Ice Shard's basically quick attack for ice types. So it's actually very good for Lapras, since Lapras is normally pretty slow. Alright, so we got in one Defense Girl. Now we want to go for Roll Out. Let me make sure I choose the right attack here. Yeah, okay, okay. If you use Defense Curl first, and I think you can use like one or two other moves before, but it will boost the initial hit of Rollout. So, honestly, pretty good combo. Wow, crit, nice. But yeah, Rollout's a move that, you know, I'm sure you guys are familiar with. Whitney used it in uh, Gen 2. But yeah, it keeps getting stronger every move, but only locks you into Rollout. So, pretty nice move to have. Don Curl, level 16, nice. Alright, and what Pokemon do you have next? Zangoose, nice Pokemon. Now we'll stay in for sure. Zangoose. All right, keep rolling, 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 what? Well, keep rolling, rolling, rolling around. Come on, look at him. All right, and I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of both Pokemon this way. Oh, uh, because you lost, I guess. Uh, more quickly, yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're cute and yet cool. Gotta leave it. They're good. I'm a cut tree, but we don't have cut. Something must be done about this. Anyway, let's see if there's any more items down here. Uh, hidden item right here. That's a bucket. No. Uh, oh, there's an item right here. What is this? Uh, is another TM Vault Tackle. Ho oh, ho ho! That's a pretty good move. So I'll be taking a look at my TMs and uh, stuff. I'll probably be looking at them between episodes and seeing if we can teach a good move to anybody with stab or a same type of attack bonus. Anyway, let's talk to these two twins. Um, uh, we can one shot this trainer, Liz, can we? We're the strongest of our class. All right, let's do it. All right, let's fight these twins. And we have Bro and Sis. I mean, it's close enough. Nick and Stu. All right, warm the dam and electric. Pretty close on the trainer class. I mean, they're still relatives, so you know, not bad, not bad. All right, how? Oh, it's not All right, take that, Manectric. Nice. Yeah, and I definitely went after Manectric first because I, I know Warm and the Warm and Damn line is uh, well known for using Protect. So uh, let's attack that one. Attack, uh, still Manectric. Okay, good, your protect failed. Knock it off, Fox. Let's see if you got any items. Oh, you resist Dark type. Interesting. So I guess it could be Dark type or Seal type. Who knows? Right. Very good. Ooh, is now number 14. Heck yeah. I'll probably go for a protect again, but uh, not much I can do about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I guess I could have defense curled in preparation for rolled out, but uh, no, nah, it's okay. So we'll go for a horn attack now and rage. Ah, yeah. oh, your protect fail. Is that the only move he, uh, she knows? Is uh, 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 protect? Surely Warmadom has to have some other moves by this point. But the AI does love like double team and protect. They love using moves like that. So yeah, not much we can do about it. But you know, I guess it is free EXP. So all right, and we'll just keep attacking. <laughs> not much else to do here. And honestly, there's no point using rollout because uh, yeah, you know, uh, she would just stop at the next attack. So yeah, not really any point. So might as well just keep keep attacking. <laughs> Okay, finally you didn't use Protect, but it's gone now. Alright. Don Crow, 17, plus 3, nice. Alright, Crow and Sis. Oh, 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 but wait! Alright, what do you have to say? This trainer is really happy about beating us, Liv. This trainer will be brag about beating us, Liz. Oh. Oh wow, we got to the next town without any encounters. Anyway guys, this is the nice and quaint 
Floroma Town. I'm not really going to explore it in this episode, uh, much like, you know, one of the early episodes. I think I'll just do a full episode of me exploring the uh, town. One thing I do want to do here really quick in this episode, though, is heal up and check on our money. So, yes, now we have enough for 10 more Pokeballs. So, there we go. Alright, and in between episodes, I might sell some stuff and get us to where we can buy another 10 Pokeballs. Uh, but, yeah, guys, thanks for joining me in this episode. Uh, yeah, kind of exciting to be back to the main story. Uh, but, uh, yeah, in the next episode... There's actually uh, quite a lot of things happening here around, you know, Florama Town. You wouldn't think so with it being such a nice, you know, quaint little town. But uh, there is some uh, trouble about. So, anyway, in the next episode, we will explore Florama Town. And we will, uh, yeah, Florama Town, vivid and scented. Yeah, we will explore here next time and uh, see if we can help out. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me here in the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. Having a lot of fun recording these. Alright, but I'll see you guys all the next time. Alright. Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Oh, and by the way, I meant to say it early in the episode, but I was just having so much fun. I've noticed like a lot more um just comments, just comments lately from you guys, you know, about various things. And uh also a lot more subscribers, yeah. So we've actually gotten 20 here like within the last like five days which is crazy um but uh yeah i really appreciate you guys uh all of it does help support the channel uh yeah regardless of whether you're just uh you know you just watch and don't commentate or you just subscribe or if you decide to leave a comment or a like or whatever all of it helps so uh yeah appreciate you guys and uh yeah it's definitely it's definitely exciting too you know being able to interact with you guys like being able to interact with you guys it's probably one of the funnest parts about uh youtubing so or just uh and i've been streaming a lot more on twitch too so uh yeah that's fun as well interacting with uh doing a stream is a lot more fun with the interactivity so yeah and if you want guys yeah go follow my twitch as well just give me a follow over there you don't have to like do anything but honestly uh getting more follows does help so same name as my youtube uh flood in mom or team if you would do that i appreciate it and uh if not uh, yeah, just keep on watching. We're cool, and uh, yeah, watching does help as well. All right, but uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. I really meant to say that earlier, but anyway, yeah, appreciate it, guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.